graphics. Taking flash and PC graphics to air. Grab any PC content with just one click. Flash, YouTube, Skype, or anything that's on a PC screen. Just one click. Hi, I am Peter Eichhardt and I'm CTO of Vidigo. We develop smart software for TV production. Today's TV production involves more and more the use of PC originated content. Think of images, YouTube movies, webcam streams, or even Skype conversations, or images from Google Maps or Google Earth. Now, using these type of contents can be technically a very challenging exercise. It involves a lot of engineering and a lot of tweaking to get everything to work exactly the way you want it to. The grabber function of Vidigo Graphics eliminates all these problems. Even audio synchronization is easier than ever. And all of this in a workflow so easy the broadcast industry has never seen before. Now let's take a look at how easy it is to use the grabber function within Vidigo Graphics. I'll have my desktop and I'll bring up two websites just as an example. What I can do now is I can go to Vidigo Graphics user interface, select the hand tool, and the hand tool allows the software to detect any grabbable screens by itself. So the only thing I have to do if I want to use the CNN website is point at it, just one click, and it's available at my SDI output. It is a live output, so if I move around, the output will automatically move around with it. Now, this is the easiest way to use all types of PC content. Just click, one click, and it's outputted to your SDI signal. If you, however, might want to use a detailed part of a website, you can also take the selection tool and then draw your region of interest, like this little photo on YouTube, Accept it, and again, this one click transfers it into your SDI signal. When I say you can use all types of PC content, I also mean, for instance, YouTube content. Again, I can use the hand tool to automatically find and select the YouTube screen. And again, just one click, and it's available at my output. If I play back, you'll see that you'll have a smooth playback of your YouTube movie on your SDI output as well. Is it possible to make it any easier? I don't think so. Now, another great PC type of content is the use of Skype. More and more used nowadays against these very difficult and expensive satellite connections. I bring up Skype and I make a connection. In this case, I make a connection with myself and a webcam that is actually over here. The only thing, again, I have to do is go to the selection tool. It will automatically find the Skype screen. And again, just like with YouTube or any other type of content, it's a matter of point and click. Here I am on a webcam using a Skype connection and using the grabber function of Vidigo Graphics to actually translate this into an SDI signal and use it in this program. As you can see, the audio synchronization currently is all over the place. Again, there is this tool within Video Graphics that you can use to delay the audio up to a maximum of five seconds. And now you can see that my audio is actually synchronized. So that is the use of Skype. Well, you've seen now Skype, YouTube, you've seen websites, any PC content that you can imagine with just one mouse click you have it available as an SDI source for your TV program. If you want any more information about our products, please visit our website, vidigo.tv, and I'll see you the next time. Thank you for your attention.